have made it to LA. Can't believe it. Border control was so simple. Like I was so scared about that whole part and I thought that they were just gonna quiz me loads, but the girl was just so chill and she was really cute and she was like, congratulations. And I was like, I feel like it hasn't hit us yet though because basically we got here yesterday and all we have done so far is be absolutely tired out of our minds and the jet lag has just hit us so hard. I feel like I was like shaking in my boots and I was just like so wavy for the first like I don't know how long but yeah so basically all we've done so far is go to banks and get bank accounts and it's surprisingly such a difficult process like coming in straight away and trying to get it sorted and we were genuinely in banks for a whole entire day so i thought that's not very fun to document at the moment our apartment is not ready to go we thought it was going to be ready the next day after we landed we've basically just had to get a lot of things sorted for it like obviously paying the rent like setting that all up in advance so we should be moving in next tuesday and i thought i would just bring you along for like these next few days and like just the things we're doing in between so at the moment we're basically hotel hopping and i'll pop a little video in so you can see the one that i'm in right now but weirdly enough this is the one that i stayed in last time that i came to la in oh wait it was in december 2022 when i came for that solo trip the girl was so sweet on reception as well because we were obviously all up in the air and we sort of explained it to her she upgraded us to a room that has like a kitchenette and it's just generally a bigger room so yeah we've ended up keeping this one on for two nights and then tonight we'll be moving to hollywood so going to stay around there because then there's just more to do in the area and then we're also closer to the new apartment which is going to be in west hollywood and like beverly hills sort of area so today like calves had a session and i've had to film some brand bits as well so not much has been going on we haven't literally been outside yet so i thought i'll just take you along for this weekend like tomorrow i want to do like the farmer's markets annoyingly i won't be able to buy anything because we haven't moved in yet i won't have like a fridge to keep everything fresh but i'm also going to bring you for the move-in I can show you the apartment when it's like brand new, nothing in it yet, and we can just slowly watch it transform, which I'm so excited about. I actually need to order a bed this weekend because we have currently got no furniture on its way. I'm currently going to be sleeping on the floor. So I don't know when it's going to hit me. I'm sure I'm going to document it when it does. We keep thinking we're going home. Like with my suitcase, I keep thinking, oh, I'll keep that carrier bag just in case I need to wrap my shoes up. Like when I go home in two weeks. No, you're not going home. But we'll see when it hits. I think at the moment, because we're just like scattered running around doing so much random stuff, we're not gonna be able to digest it. So I'll bring you along this afternoon and I'll show you the new hotel we're gonna be staying in for the next few days, basically living out of a suitcase. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, we've just come in hotel number two, a million cases, and it is the cutest thing ever. This is Tommy Hollywood look we actually have views on views on views the last one was obviously just the airport so we couldn't see much but I know this is it's really cute and cozy to be fair but this is the bathroom gold obsessed I mean this will be home for the next three nights until we finally get into the flat Cute. I got the iced Chabuchino. I feel like it's just my go-to now, but they have so many new ones I really want to try. But this one, saving the day. We have not had breakfast. I had a really quick, deliciously ala bar. It is so hot today and I'm wearing a blazer. Rookie mistake. I really want to go to Crate and Barrel. I'm hoping that that is going to give me some homeware stuff to purchase ready for Tuesday and then move in. I'm just going to explore and see what's around and what we can get because um, we need like glasses, bowls, like you name it, cutlery, obviously every single thing that you need to buy when you move in somewhere. And then yeah, I'm gonna go to Air One, Beverly Hills, get some fruit, because I think we're both just craving like fresh fruit and like I really want like a green juice or something. We need to order a bed today, duvet, mattress, everything, hoping that it'll arrive for Tuesday, but I think some of the stuff might only arrive at like Thursday. But. We'll be sleeping on the floor, it'll be fine. 
but yeah I'm so warm I don't know how we're gonna do the walk because I'm going to die I really love the hotel that we were staying in last night and last night we literally just went to the hotel bar and then we went to the Grove and just got some food at the Grove but we've been so tired in the evenings literally Kev fell asleep at like 8 30 the night before he fell asleep at 7 30. I was trying to stay awake because I needed to search for like um beds and everything but I went to bed at like 9.15. That was quite, quite good and I woke up at 6.30 so that was my first night of like proper sleep. My voice just keeps going so deep every time I wake up but yeah. I'm ready to take off my blazer and hopefully get some sun. Let's go! I want a pumpkin. Okay, I want white plates, so I don't want grey. My colour. So is this place meant to be like, I don't know what this is in reference to, is it like H&M Home? Maybe. Maybe? Yeah, Zara Home. Zara Home, oh yeah, I see that, very similar. It's like I have to get 17 pumpkins. Cheese. <laughs> I really want like wiggly plates. But these are a good size bowl. It's all about a good size bowl. I feel like this is like the kids go back to school section or something. But I do like how minimal these are. Gold. I'm obsessed. I need this for cereal. This is the perfect oat tub, imagine. I'm obsessed. I'm so over these ones now. No more. I need rectangular. This is the one that I won. I love the squiggle. I don't have the side plates. I'll have to look online. Now to the motherland. Hey, how are you? Welcome to Target. <laughs> Welcome to Target. We just found some absolute sorcery. $10, I, this can't be right. For towel sets. Target is absolutely insane. <laughs> this is mad. Some quick little towel purchase. Okay, duvet hunt. So many choices. It's insane. It's a bit overwhelming. More pumpkins. I need these. I can't open this door. If I start looking at food, it's gonna be hell. <laughs> No, we're, no, we're not buying this poison. The cheeses are so bad. See, look how big their cheese section is and it all tastes like garbage. Asa is so cheap. Oh yeah, everyone says to buy these. They're just fruit and banana bites. Apparently they're so nice. Wait, do they have the American mustard, like honey mustard? Oh my God. There we are, just for reference, not too Oh yeah, one's. I swear, I've always looked for this in the UK and we have nothing that's honey mustard. No shop sells honey mustard. Actually, just quickly, that one there. Is the oh one my god, it's huge. Industrial. What? These will always be my favourite ever. The RX nut butter. So much protein, it's insane. And so cheap. Like, what? Did they do it in a big one? Whoa. Oh my god hit the jackpot. I do secretly want to try all of the American cereal, like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. What is it? It looks like Golden Graham's. I don't know if they sell that here. Do they have healthy stuff or is it? Oh, they've got Magic Spoon. They sell this in the UK, that's like new. Whoa. Pumpkin Spice? Stop it. I'm gonna go nuts with the pumpkins. We are on the final day of hotel hopping and I've never been so happy to finally like get into somewhere. So we'll be getting into the flat today. <laughs> I'm just so glad that it's over, even though it sounds so spoiled because <clears throat> we've been staying, <clears throat> because we've been staying in nice hotels, but I honestly just want my home comforts. So I've been wearing the same outfit for the last four days and I'm not even joking. I'm just praying that anyone that I see repetitively over the days does not realise I'm wearing the same outfit, as gross as that is. But I'm at the point where I don't care because I don't want to unpack all my cases. The amount of cases that we have 
is insane and they are so heavy. We're now going to go to the bank to get our check to pay the real estate people and then we'll meet the real estate girl at the flat that we still haven't seen yet but I'm excited to just get in at this point. I don't even care if it's a shoebox, joking, it's going to be fine. Yeah, then she'll give us a run through, then we're going to come back to this hotel which is Tommy Hollywood and I actually really love this hotel. Like apparently they weren't the best reviews because it's kind of like a party hotel but I have loved it. Like the aesthetic is very me. The upstairs bar has like a cowboy bar and downstairs is like a really zen like dining area and it's so nice. Yeah, so then we're gonna do that, come back here, get the cases, then go to the flat finally. And then this afternoon we'll do like a target shop just to get like a few bits and bobs, like some cereal for tomorrow, just to see us over for the morning. And then we'll go and do a proper food shop on Wednesday. So excited for the food shop, like no words. The thing is I want to get like the Amazon, like clean aesthetic, like organizers for the fridge. So that will obviously have to wait a little bit. And we'll do that in time, but for now we just need like a quick stock. Yesterday we went to Heart House again for dinner. That's two nights in a row we've been to Heart House. Not gonna lie, it is really nice. Um, but again, it's just like fast food. We're literally just eating when we think to be hungry, think to be hungry. And it's just like, obviously I don't work like that. I usually do like five meals a day and consistently eating. And it's just not been doable because of how much stuff we've had to do. So yeah, there's a little update and I will show you guys the flat because this morning it's just gonna be boring. We're just gonna go to the bank. So I will see you once we're in the flat. I'm so excited. <laughs> Pants and workout outfits. Clothes. Cabby's clothes. Cab went out to Target because we were literally, I was dying. So he got us some few little bits. He got me hummus. How cute. <laughs> They're so good. Have you tried one? Yeah, I've had a couple. Improvised bed. A duvet on the floor. The only pajamas I could find. <laughs> And a pillar. I'm breaking out like crazy. Let's shop for essentials because we have nothing. By essentials, I mean a salad spinner. I am literally a pack mule. Oh my god, guys, I just bought a salad spinner. Ignore the toothbrushes. I've wanted a salad spinner for so long, but I know that in America, like, they don't really have the cleanest vegetables and like salads and stuff so i just got this guy from target and i was gonna get it on amazon but i literally found the exact same one it sold out on amazon but i found it in target and i was like i have to get this one because i wanted it because it has like the where is it? it has like a little rubber squishy bit to stop the salad spinner but i'm very excited about that and yeah so current cutlery i took these from the hotel i'm not gonna lie i stole them I'm so excited to fill everything. Oh my God, this is a double cupboard. Wait, do I do plates? And then, oh, I don't know. Oh, it's so tough. So hard to decide where everything goes. Then I thought here I would do coffee corner. I have no idea what this is. And this button makes the sink like rumble. I don't know what to do. I think it's like one of those food processor things, but I have no clue. Okay, I just tried to figure out how to use this. And I honestly thought I was gonna set the place on fire, but I think I figured it out. How cute is my oven mitt? Target, cutest. But attempting to cook cab a pizza. I don't have a tray, so, oh my God. See, I don't understand why it keeps turning on as if there's like a fire underneath it. But I'm hoping I've done it. No idea. Is it supposed to even be bake? I have no clue. Meal made. Tuna wraps, hummus, calves, humongous ketchup. I can't. Okay, we are on to Friday the 15th of September and we still have no furniture. So we have literally been living on the floor like you have seen for the last few days. It's all okay, we're surviving. And today we should be starting to get a few bits and bobs, like plates, basically everything. I think cutlery might be coming, all that stuff coming today. So. I can at least try and get a little bit organized in the kitchen because at the moment, like it's just, it's just chaos. 
there's just a lot going on. On another note, so exciting. Yesterday I went to Air One and just got a few little bits and bobs, just like bitch and sauce. I got like six poppies. I got salt and pepper, the basics, like nothing crazy. But today we're going to Trader Joe's. I have not been yet. Every time I go in there, I get so confused, but I've never ever done a food shop in there. I've never been able to do a food shop. I've never had a kitchen or anything to do a proper food shop. So I am excited and I'm just gonna go down every single aisle and analyze everything. So I should be able to get like the majority of my stuff in there. There's literally one like right up the street, so I'm gonna go there. And I will show you guys everything that I get when I come back and try and film little bits when I'm in there. But I'm also gonna be filming it for TikTok, so it gets a little hard to film both at the same time. Okay, let's go to Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's? Trader Joe's. <laughs> Okay, we have returned from Trader Joe's. That was unbelievable, like unbelievable. I got so much stuff, like I had to hold myself back in the end because there is so much stuff that's pumpkin. I literally have pumpkin cookies, pumpkin crisps, pumpkin yogurt, pumpkin hummus, pumpkin everything. And of course, let me loose around some pumpkin. I'm gonna go nuts. So I bought loads and loads of pumpkin things, obviously, but I had to get normal food shop. I was like, I need to get like salad and like broccoli and cucumber, lemon, the streaming, the normal stuff that you would just buy, tuna. But I had to carry it back and it is the heaviest, oh my God, thing in the world. I'm gonna open it all now and show you, but I feel like I could live in Trader Joe's, but the food here like is so expensive. I know I look in Air One and I know obviously Whole Foods back home is expensive, but nothing like just general American food shops are just so spenny. Salad dressing back home would be like a pound 50 or something, maybe if you're gonna buy a fresh salad dressing. Here, it's like four dollars and I'm like, what? Vegetables, just absolutely everything. And like, if you go and get a coffee, like say I go to get a coffee in London, it's like 3.50. Coffee here, eight dollars minimum, minimum. It's just insane. But anyway, let me get out of the stuff and we can go through all of my pumpkin goodies and the normal stuff. Okay, here it is. So I'll run you through from the top. Obviously a lot of pumpkin will be in this video. Pumpkin cranberry crisps. I thought these would be nice to have with like hummus and like the dips that I bought, I have to show you. I got pumpkin flavored Jojo's. I don't know what Jojo's are, but they look like a type of biscuit, like kind of like an Oreo. It sounds like what I was reading. We've got Greek non-fat yogurt, but coconut cream. So that was confusing, but I thought I thought that sounded interesting. So I'll give that a go. We got pumpkin overnight oats, like what? Honey crisp apple cinnamon, Greek non-fat pumpkin yogurt. I've had that one before and it is so nice. I had that like last year when I was here, but I didn't realize how much pumpkin stuff they have. I was trying to find normal oat milk and I literally kept finding things that had different things in them. So I got maple flavored oat milk which I hope's okay. I got some bloobs, little carrot sticks also for the dips. I got kale, shredded iceberg and sugar snaps. Everyone says you shouldn't be having pre-packaged stuff, but I think Trader Joe's is okay, but I bought a salad spinner, so we'll see. I just got some basil, obviously for just like having with eggs. Pumpkin pie spice. I got almond butter, crunchy. I got pumpkin butter, like what? an earth. I thought that on oats with the almond, insane. I got these carb savvy tortillas. It's weird here, like they don't really, they have so many of these like carb savvy things, but I thought I'll give them a go. I got pumpkin spice La Colombe. I've never tried one of these before, so that'd be fun. I got coconut smoothie, a classic. I'll probably just have that now. I got this vegan buffalo dip. Anything buffalo in general, I will always love. So that's gonna be amazing. I think it's made with almonds. It's made with like cauliflower, I think is the base. Then I got roasted garlic hummus. Like how does this exist? Then I got some tuna, but the tuna here really freaks me out. Like I got some tuna last night and I just don't understand this like, like different types of canned tuna here. So I'm trying to like suss out which one I actually like. I got chickenless, so no chicken, mandarin or orange, morsels. I thought, I've heard people talk about like the mandarin orange chicken, like real chicken that Trader Joe's does, but I thought I'm gonna give this a go because that sounds insane. I got organic roasted red pepper and almond pesto. 
I got avocado oil spray, I got my oats, obviously. I got truffle glaze on earth. Like anything balsamic I love, but truffle mixed with it, madness. I got roasted, fire roasted bell peppers and onions. I got tomatoes, I got lemons, I got apples. This I've heard about so much and never been able to buy it, never been able to try it because obviously I don't have like a kitchen here whenever I've visited. Now I do, I'm making it. I'm gonna put that with the um, red pepper and almond sauce. Then I got, the salmon as well was freaking me out in there. It was also like pink, a really, really bright pink. So I thought I'm gonna try. These seemed okay when I was reading like the ingredients and stuff. So I'm gonna give these a go, but they're the premium salmon burgers. I got an English cucumber, look. And yeah, that is the shop. My God, I'm excited. I'm gonna literally dive in right now. Confirmation, these are insane. This stuff is so good. I'm gonna go and buy everything pumpkin that they sell. Like this month is my month. Like the pumpkin pretzels, I had to hold back on. So I'm gonna definitely try everything pumpkin. I also thought I'd quickly show you what I got from like some deliveries so far. So I got this from My Girl Wellness, this whole load. This is the InSync like snickerdoodle. It's like a powder that I've actually mixed in with my yogurt this morning and it's so nice. It, literally the flavor of snickerdoodle, the fact that we don't have that in the UK, I don't understand. It's so good. Literally like cinnamon, like sweet cinnamon flavor. Um, and then we also got this from Four Truffles. It's like a massive candle that's a smell of fireside comfort. It smells insane. Then they sent me loads of like minis as well. And also Coco Kind of sent these products. We've got a Resurrection Polypeptide Cream. We've got a Ceramide Barrier Serum and an Oil to Milk Cleanser. My, literally my skincare cupboard is gonna be insane extra goodies and I think we've got some more coming today but yeah this is it for now okay I have just stopped the fridge so that is all done I won't show you it because I'm gonna get the fridge organizers I'm gonna redo the whole fridge it's gonna be so aesthetic and so perfect like I will scream I'm gonna do my salad spinner for like all my fruits and veggies because everyone says that you need to wash them here and just like the TikToks that I've seen just freak me out so I feel like I need to give them a clean so I'm gonna put everything so when you open the fridge it literally looks like air one but for the home Cav's just come home and he has wi-fi like I have gone a whole week with no signal like no 3g no 4g no 5g no wi-fi I don't know I, don't, I have nothing like nothing and so I'm so ready because I can't post stories. Like I haven't been able to like update you guys like as much as I want to on Instagram. Just searching on TikTok for inspo, like everything. I can't look at it. So it's driving me crazy. And Cav has now just come home with some Wi-Fi. So I'm hoping if we set it up, it's gonna work and we don't need like a guide to come in and sort it. I'm hoping that we can just do this now and it works. So let's see. I'm gonna film a video for the fridge stock and I'm gonna film like a move in with me video. I just need everything to arrive so I can finally do it. I haven't posted a reel in like a week and it's driving me nuts. But obviously everything has been a little bit crazy so I need to give myself some credit and a little bit of a break Yeah, so I thought I'll end the video here and we will continue when I have furniture and actual things to show you that we're stocking the flat with and I'm so excited It's actually gonna start to feel more like a home and actually feel like a space because now it just feels like an empty like shell Okay, I'll close this out now, but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Can't believe we're here. Can't believe it